Hi, I'm Matt Ballard, National Coach at STA, and today we're going to talk about some chipping, help you chip better. Okay, so here we are, we've missed the green, we've got a basic chip. For this discussion today, we're going to be talking about how to get this ball up and down. It's about a 10 metre shot, and we have about five metres of grass to carry before we reach the green. We're going to talk about the setup, the do's and don'ts for this particular shot, and how to overcome it, and set up in the correct manner to be able to execute this shot nice and easily. Okay, so here we are, we're just gonna talk about this particular shot and a particular issue that I find most club golfers have. They tend to use their lofted club, but the issue that they have is they move the ball too far back in their stance, which invariably gets the, the handle more forward. Now you notice when I have the handle more forward, this reduces the loft. Makes it extremely difficult to elevate this ball up and get it to land softly on the green. So we're gonna talk about how the setup change, a simple setup change, we can get the shaft in a better position, which gives you more loft and allows you to elevate that ball nice and high and soft and get it to stop on the green. So just to add to that, I've asked many amateurs this question before, why do you have the ball so far back when you're trying to elevate it? The number one reason club golfers suggest this to me is because they're so focused on getting ball first contact, but at the cost of not being able to hit it nice and high. So they feel like they have to move the ball further back to get ball first contact, but that makes your angle of attack a lot steeper the club face a lot less lofted, makes it much more difficult to get the ball elevated and stop it on the green. Okay, so here we are, we missed the green, and this is what I commonly see with the club golfer when they're having issues with their chipping. First thing I notice is the ball is a long way back. Second thing I notice, the stance is far too wide. And third, you notice that the hands are far too far forward. Now, what this does, it promotes, like I said before, a very steep angle of attack, and it engages the leading edge of the club here which wants to dig into the ground really sharply, makes it extremely difficult for you to hit it high and soft. It also makes it very easy for you to duff, drive that club straight into the ground, like so. This is not what we're looking for. In the next section, I'll talk to you about the correct setup procedure to execute this shot. Okay, so if you're one of those golfers that, like I said in the last section, has the ball too far back, this one's for you. What I need you to do is stand with a much narrower stance with the club head width between your heels. That's it, no wider than that. You're gonna grab the club like so, you're gonna bend down straight from the waist. Ball position is gonna be right near your logo on your shirt or your heart, like this. And a checkpoint I use as a coach is that I'd like to see at setup your chin, your grip, and the ball all in direct straight line. This is gonna give you the best chance to give maximum loft, to be able to hit this shot nice in the air, and use the back of the club, which is key to hitting these shots, not the front edge of the club like we showed in the last video. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna demonstrate how not to play this shot, like I said before. The ball too far back in our stance invariably means our handle will go a lot more forward and we have a lot less loft. That also makes a steeper angle of attack into the ball, which is going to make that ball come off a lot faster than we want for this particular shot, make it really hard for us to stop it. So the poorly one, poorly shot looks like this, comes out far too fast, far too much energy, makes it difficult to stop the ball. The second issue that I see with this one, if you just miss it and you just hit behind it, it's very easy to duff like that. So that's not what we're looking for. In the next clip, I'll show you how to do it correctly with the setup. Okay, really simply now, here is the correct way to set up for this shot. As mentioned before, narrower stance, ball position slightly forward, shaft nice and vertical, nice and neutral as I like to say. This is gonna give you the best chance to hit this shot nice and successfully, just by getting the basic fundamentals of the setup down correctly. Let's demonstrate. For this chip shot, the goal here is to try and land it just on, land it nice and soft and have it not run too far from the pin, something like that. So just in summary, to wrap this up, a lot of players when they're chipping are afraid of hitting the ground. You're afraid of hitting the ground because you're afraid of using this part of the club, the front end of the club, wants to dig into the ground. What I say to a lot of players is don't be afraid of the ground, you must hit the ground, but you must hit the ground with the back of the club, the sole of the club, or the trailing edge of the club like that. That is your friend that's going to help you get that ball nice and high, nice and soft, and get it to stop on the green every single time. Hope you enjoyed and hope it helps you.